channel. Happy Advent. My name is Levi Lowry from Gainesville, Florida, and I'm excited to share with you uh, today. I have been just kind of, I don't know, thinking a lot about this idea of watching and waiting. And in fact, I preached a sermon last week that uh, ended with keep watch uh, for what God is up to and where he is moving and where we can join him in that. And my mind this week has just gone to this passage that's very familiar uh, to many of us that grew up in the church in Luke chapter 2, and I love it. Uh, I just love the humanity that is here. It says, There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly God's angels stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in David's town. A Savior who is Messiah and Master. And then uh, the author, uh, the angel goes on to tell them uh, what they are to look for. And it just, got, it just got me to thinking that I don't know what 2020 has been for you. Uh, it's been a year that, that I won't forget. Um, personally, professionally, I've, I've transitioned uh, out of a job without necessarily having uh, a new job uh, lined up or in place. And, um, and so it's, it's been filled with uh, emotions and things that, that I didn't see coming and, and, a lot of it was was my own doing, but I got accustomed to just kind of looking for the same old, same old. And my mind goes to those shepherds. They were just doing what they were used to doing. They were just doing the thing. Uh, they were keeping watch over the sheep at night. And uh, they knew what was to be expected, that they, they may have to run off a wild animal or two, but they just needed to keep the sheep safe and then they would wake up and, and do it all again tomorrow. And so sometimes we can get in these places where we're just kind of keeping watch over the same old, same old. And then all of a sudden, in, in the middle of the mundane, in the middle of the ordinary, in the middle of the status quo, something new is born. And so in the middle of the mess that has been 2020, when I really begin to look, I can see that there has been new birth in the middle of the ordinary or the mundane or what I thought was just to be expected. And, and so I want to share with you just one of the really neat things that happened as I was transitioning from uh, my job as uh, an assistant pastor at a church. Uh, I needed to, to let my parents know uh, what was going on. And so I actually ended up, with the timing of it all, flying up to Alabama where they live. And uh, beyond just telling them that I was transitioning uh, out of my ministry position, uh, I felt like it was time to just have an honest talk with them about how my faith has, has progressed in ways that's different from the conservative faith that I grew up in. And I just shared with them uh, three or four different areas that you know, I knew our uh, beliefs wouldn't necessarily line up, but I wanted them to know authentically and truthfully uh, where I was. And the reality is that I had been hiding some of that from them because I didn't want to be a disappointment. And so for a long time, like over a decade, I've been progressing in my faith and questioning and doubting and, and coming out just still committed to Jesus but I hadn't shared any of that with them, and uh, there was some fear in that, but uh, we had a, a great conversation. I don't even know. It was one of those conversations. I don't know how long it lasted, but I know it was long, and I know there were tears, and I know at the end of it, uh, my parents just looked at me and said, you're, you're our, our son. Like, uh, that's it. That's enough. We love you, and we're proud of you, and about 20 minutes later, my mom and I were just standing in the kitchen and uh, she just put her arms around me and, and she said, you know, son, I've told you many times that I love your heart, but I've never loved your heart more than I love it 
right now. Now I just told my parents like three or four things that I thought would be like really disappointing to them. And this was my mom's response. And so what's come of that is a, a new birth, like in my relationship with my parents. And so I have this openness and this honesty and this connection with my parents at 45 years old that I haven't had for a long time. So in the middle of just the ordinary, um, in a bit of a mess, I've seen new things being born. And, and there's even more than that, just new friendships that have, have blossomed in this time. There's a lot of new birth. And so I encourage you, I don't know what your 2020 has been. I don't know what your ordinary is. I don't know what your status quo is. I don't know what your daily thing is. But I encourage you to begin looking around for the new thing that is being born in your life, that is being born in your life. Because God is all about new beginnings. He is all about beginnings. And so um, I believe that there is something being birthed in each of us at different times that the world needs uh, maybe that you need, that people around you need. And so as you keep watch, as you just keep doing the thing that you do, take some time, pause and reflect on the new thing being born in you, being born around you, and, and embrace it and acknowledge it and lean into it. Let's pray. God, thank you uh, just for these few moments that we have. Thank you that you or a God who's doing a new thing that's all about new birth. We thank you for the Messiah, for Jesus, the rescuer, uh, the one who came to show us the way, that came to show us your essence, your heart, that we could filter uh, our whole lives and, and, and everything uh, through him. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>